Hello, happy Saturday. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to Chocolate One. My name's Beth. I'm an independent designer, Chocotour, and I have a fun project for us today. I hope it goes as I have it planned. If you're hopping on, would you please leave a comment for me, like and follow my Facebook page, and sprinkle and share this to your other Facebook friends um, that are interested in DIY, home decor, or crafty things to do. I'm gonna do that right now myself. Let's see here, here we go. Sprinkle this to the VIP group. There we go. Okay, so did everybody have a good day? Bill and I spent about an hour putting together a new um, snow roof rake. Um, it's kind of, maybe you've seen the ads where it has like a chute where the snow comes down, it cuts it going up and then the, the snow comes down the chute. So we'll see, Bill tried, he says, oh, it's better than the other one we had. So I hope it works. <laughs> I'm going to do today this one. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. This is available still. If you're interested in this project that I'm doing today, um, just leave me a comment and I will get you the information that you need for that. And I'll try and remember to uh, pin a link in this um, video when I'm finished doing the live. Hi, Jane, how are you today? So the first thing we're going to do, this is our uh, uh, 12 by 18, 12 by 18 I think it is, um, palette board. And I t it comes it comes solid gray like this, nice, a beautiful gray, but I really love when you sand these boards. We're actually going to paint this, but I love the colors that come out when you sand the gray and it leaves the, the light tone, wood tone. Anyways, I think it's really pretty. But we're going we're gonna to use some of our chalk paste today to paint with. So I took it out and sanded. I love, I really do like sanding these boards down because you can see their pallets. These are individual boards here. So um, sometimes there's a little ridge and that can be, that can be a little tricky with your transfer. The paste can get stuck in the, in the, um, the seam of the, of the board. So I like sanding it down to help smooth that out a little bit. Well, let's get started. My, we're stepping away from the pinks today. Um, I love greens and blues. Um, probably green is one of my favorite colors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use, I have, uh, this is Jade Pistachio. I haven't used pistachio in a long time. And um, Eucalyptus. And we're gonna paint the boards. This needs water. It's an old formula. I'm going to add a squirt of water to it and stir it up. Well, actually, I'm going to add water to it in my little tray, so it doesn't hurt to stir them up anyway. How many boards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, an odd number. So I'm going to put a little bit of this paste in my little color trays here. Am I off camera? I'm off camera. On here. And then we'll add a little water. Oops, I did that one already. Which this one? We'll add a little water and turn this into uh, paint. We have to add a little bit more, we will. Now we'll take a squirt, squirt, squirt. And we're gonna just kind of mix those together. Thin it down. And you can make this into a, a watercolor. It's kind of a fun, it's just a, it's a fun project. Let's see here. fun to paint with these. I think we have over 40 colors of paste. 
which is pretty cool. Lots of fun colors. I don't know if you're a designer um, or if you're a customer and you like the little house cutouts, I'll try and do one tomorrow. I have a few sets left, but those are going to retire after they're sold out. So if that's something you're interested in getting before they're gone, because now that people know that they're gonna be gone, they're gonna probably go pretty quickly. They were very popular. We have new product coming out February 8th. So um, if you're interested in that, make sure you grab those. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just lightly mist my board here, just to help spread that a little bit. Oops, move everything around here. Put that water on there just to wet the board. Grab a paintbrush. I actually dip my paintbrush in a little bit of water here. And let's see, I guess we can do, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use the eucalyptus and just paint up here. I think this is gonna be really pretty. And I'm gonna try and keep my colors separate. That needs a little bit more water, I think. Spray it right on here. Who else likes really likes the color green? That looks nice. And another paintbrush. Let's do this one's pretty stiff. That water just really helps you move that paste around. And I do not like this paintbrush. I think I used it in Mod Podge. So it's kind of getting on there, but it's pretty stiff. And I don't care if it doesn't go, if I don't cover it completely, I, I'm okay with that little distressed look on here. So. something fun and different to do tonight. Okay, let's go back to, I think it was this one. It's really pretty. It's kind of minty looking. So all these products you can buy in my shop. If you're interested, you can uh, message me and I'll get that information. And I'll put that in the link afterwards also. What is this color? Jade. 
This came out, I wonder, I don't know if this color is still available. I think it came out for the winter catalog, kind of for Christmas time. I sure do like it though. It's kind of like, this is kind of like staining this wood, these green colors. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. And let's do the last one here. End up where we started with the eucalyptus. There we go. Okay, that looks nice. I'll put these in my jar of water. I think we're done with them. And we'll set these aside and clean that up. Now let's dry this. While I'm drying, I'll look at comments over here. Hi, Eleanor. Hi, Barb. Hello, dear. <laughs> um... Oh, it feels. Are we back now? I hope. Oh, good. Thank you, Barb. Thanks for letting me know that. Hi, Donna. This is our quick dry tool. Just drying the paste we just put down. I like it. It looks kind of mossy. If you don't have, if you don't have this little tool, um, I sell this in the shop too, but you can just use your blow dryer to dry it, or if you have a, a heat gun, you can use that on low setting just to dry your paint, that's fine. Just don't use those on your transfers. It's coming off on my fingers a little bit. I want to dry before we're going to put a coat of wax on it. If it, when you touch it, if it feels cool to the touch, that means it needs more drying time. And it feels a little cool in places. I might have got a little extra water in some places. Now it's feeling really good. I think everybody knows um, this the song. You'll never know, dear, how much you love how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Very popular old song. Okay, so that looks good. And let's get the wax. I have it right here. Let's wax it. I'm going 
co I can cover up these pace. We're done with the greens. About time for a new waxing cloth. Okay, so I put wax on it to for a couple of reasons. Um, I'm able to reuse my wood surfaces because I wax them. I mean, the paint, the paste that I stained it with will probably still be there, but I could sand that and um, or repaint it. It helps. Um, it helps with little boo boos if you get a bleed. Or um, it also helps when you're, um, so it doesn't pull up this paste. When I put my transfer down, because our transfers are sticky. They're adhesive vinyl with a silk screen mesh. So that looks good. That looks really good. Oh my gosh, that is, that is so pretty. You see the colors in that, the greens, isn't that pretty? You see what I mean about it, how it looks kind of mossy? I like it. Let's, I'm gonna heat the wax up a little bit that we just put on. Because I love being able to get these boards to have a really nice finish. I'm really, I'm really liking these colors. And I buff it out. I just use an old microfiber cloth. And I, even though I'm putting the transfer here and here, I wax the whole thing so it just looks even. It looks very finished that way. And I like some of the wood showing through. Gosh, that's pretty. Okay, let's see if there's any questions on that. Oh, we're back. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Donna. Okay, so this is the transfer. Wherever you see the white, the, wherever you see the lettering, that's where the silkscreen mesh is. And that's where the paste pushes through and leaves us a really nice transfer. These are called transfers, not stencils for that reason. And this is the backer sheet. I already wrote on this because I, I got this last year and used it. I think I only used it once. I'm gonna grab a fuzzing cloth and I'm gonna put some fuzz on this. It's a little bit sticky, not too bad. I don't want to pull up any of the paint that we just put down. That's one of the reasons we wax it. Now I have to decide what color are we going. I was thinking black or white. And hmm, I just what do you guys think for the letters? What do you, what color do you would you use? We have a little rainbow to put up there too. Let's see. The nails aren't exactly even, so you can't really go off of those on the side. up here nice and straight flipping over scooting over just a tab when I get where I think I want it I think right there I'm just pushing the air out of the silk screen I want the air out of there so I don't end up with a, a pool.
spool of paste underneath it. So push it down really good. Okay, so this is what we have. What do you think? I was thinking black. What do you guys think? Oh, Storm. Hmm, Storm would be pretty. Hmm. Mm, I don't know, James. It might be too much tone with this. It might be too much close to tone on tone because these are pretty gray. I think I'm going to go with black. Looking through my paste today, Let's see if I need a. This is a good one. There was a batch that came out early last year, I think it was, and they did not smell good. If you have one of those pastes that has a very strong odor to it, make sure that you um, let designer services know about that. They'll replace it for you. All right. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do black for all the letters. These are our squeegees. This is a small squeegee. It's beveled. You can see it's beveled, and it is silicone. I think this will really pop nice. So I just put it on and then pull it over my transfer. And I don't know how I always manage to, to get it way up there and get my fingers in it, but I do every single time. This is um, this is just so satisfying. I think you guys hear me say that every day. Love, love, love doing this. I need to get out the monthly, the club transfer and do another one with that. I think we'll do a kitchen towel with that. I haven't done a kitchen towel in a couple of months. I'm in need of a new kitchen towel. Okay, we have it covered. Now just go through and skim it down really good. You want to get all those squeegee lines off and put the extra back in there so they don't transfer on your design because it'll show up as an extra line in your letter. Okay. All right. Put it all in there. Wipe my fingers off. Okay, let's pull this up. Get that little E part right there a little bit more. Grab this little squeegee here. It looks beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, I'm going to set that right there. I'll hold this up and show you what we have so far. It looks so nice. Isn't it pretty? I can see the silk screen on the, um, the font. It looks just so pretty. Okay, let's try this. And then we have to pick out some rainbow colors.
doesn't take long to dry. You can see it dry when you're holding the air over it. four of them and they have they have the little um what are they called those uh what are those called these little hash or um crossbows or whatever you call those little squares those are for to line it up and i've numbered the back of them so this is the first one so they they want you to lay this one down first so we're going to put this up here. I guess I better fuzz it. It feels pretty sticky. I have this transfer. I want to make it for my daughter. I used, this sing, used to sing this all the time when she was little. Now I know I'm going to use, how I'm going to use it. Oh, I'm glad, Sue. Good. You can customize it to any color that works for your your little girl's room. All right, so I want this in the center. How big is this? Is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So one, two, one, two, three. Four, five, six, thirteen. So right in the middle here. Yeah, I think everybody um, loves this song. I just want to make sure we're not going too high, because those those um, transfer marks go pretty high. The rainbow gets put together pretty good. So I'm gonna scoot that down just a little bit. I want it down a little bit lower. Let's try this again. That looks pretty good. Let's try to check again here. I think that'll be okay. All right, now I had pulled out blues to go with the greens. It's a hard decision what colors to put on there. I mean, we could, we could put some sunny colors in there. That would actually be pretty too because there's some yellow tones in here. Maybe. Daffodil. Um, daffodil. And let's uh, blue. I think I'll, I do blue, daffodil. There's four, so I need another one. Um, what do you guys think? I want pink. I don't want doom. That just they just fell off at me. So I was kind of thinking teal. That might be pretty. I think we'll go with I think we'll go with the blues anyway. It'll work. We'll make it work. I might use the yellow twice. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the blue though. I'm just going to open some paste up and decide as we go. That's the hardest part for me, is deciding what colors I want to do. 
Daffodil needs some attention. The cadet needs some attention. What about the teal? The teal, I don't, I think the teal is fine. These three colors actually would be kind of pretty. Maybe I'll just use those. Okay. Let me grab a stir stick here. This daffodil is very old. But watch me make it work. squeegee and on it goes it's going to be pretty it's going to look kind of muted I think that'll be really nice so I think we need soft colors I'm going to do those little registration marks but I for the life of me I can never see them okay so we're gonna peel this see how it looks oh it looks great it's a great color Okay, so let's try that. Like a ray of sunshine. Hey Donna, getting ready for, oh you're getting ready for an ice storm, oh no. Yikes. barely barely showed up barely showed up let's get two out here so it's gonna go up pretty high I mean barely showed up I think I'm gonna just go from the very bottom of where it was kind of how they planned it. Okay, now let's do, I think this, what is this called? I forgot, Colonial Blue? Yep, Colonial Blue. Let's put some of this blue on there. That'll be pretty. Oops, a little bit up here. That's pretty. Transfers are stacking up over there. getting the hang of this now. <laughs> so if you can't see the registration marks, line the top of the arch up inside of the uh, rainbow that you just, the arch that you just made. And that's going to give you the perfect placement. Now I want purple in there because you know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And I like these soft muted colors. This is Wisteria. Pulled up a little bit of that blue paint. That's okay. Try that. I probably, you know what, I sh oops, I pulled up a lot right there. I'll fix that with a paintbrush. I'll fix all of it with a paintbrush. I, should, I probably should have waxed before. Now I'm going 
going to put a little bit of blue back in there. I think we'll use the teal. Let me fuzz this a little bit here. Pretty. Oh, that's cute. Okay, there is our. Oh, do I have another one? Is that the last one? Was that four? One, two, three, four. That's it. I feel like I could use one more little tiny one right in there. Let's try that and then I'll fix where I pulled up the paste. out here. Oh wait, do I need, I need that. So let me find a tiny little paintbrush here. I'm just going to see if I can just paint that in a little bit. Yeah, that'll work. And then the blue. Dab it in there where we pulled up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to close these up. Pastes are closed up. All right, I'm very, <clears throat> very happy with that. Can you move the board? Oh, I'm sorry, Jane. Gosh darn it. Can you, you can see it now though. It must have been when I, I don't know, what was I doing painting and you couldn't see it? Just dabbed the paint and the paste and then dabbed it on there with a tiny little brush. All right. Do you guys like it? I love it. I, I, I love the greens that we used on the background. It's very vibrant and um, perfect. So I'm going to, I made beef stroganoff for dinner. It was my mom's recipe and it's so delicious. So thank you for the hearts. If you're able to go ahead and sprinkle this video to your other friends. If you're watching the replay, um, you can sprinkle it as well and then also leave a comment when you were putting on the... Oh, shoot, Jade, I'm sorry. Darn it. Um, sometimes I get so involved in what I'm doing, I don't look up and I have to remember to do that. Something just fell over there. It was like a spider, like a big spider. Oh, no. Hmm. Okay. That's it for now. Um, I'll be back to Chalk and Talk with you tomorrow. So until then, take good care and um, have a great rest of your evening.